a chapter a day to brighten your way. A caring leader who loved God, Nehemiah. Hello, friends. Let us read the Bible together. Today we'll be reading Nehemiah chapter one. In the earliest days, the books of Nehemiah and Ezra were originally compiled into one volume, collectively known as the Book of Ezra. It was not until 1448 that a Hebrew manuscript of the Old Testament divided them into the books of Ezra and Nehemiah. Most biblical scholars agree that this book was written by Nehemiah and then edited and embellished by the scribe Ezra. Nehemiah is best known for leading the people to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. In Hebrew, the name Nehemiah means "the Lord comforts," and God's comfort was delivered to the Israelites through Nehemiah. In addition to Nehemiah's piety and leadership, we will also see his attitude of praying to God in all things. Let's read chapter one together. Nehemiah, chapter one. The words of Nehemiah the son of Hakaliah. Now it happened in the month of Kislev, in the twentieth year, as I was in Susa the citadel, that Hanani, one of my brothers, came with certain men from Judah. And I asked them concerning the Jews who escaped, who had survived the exile, and concerning Jerusalem. And they said to me, "The remnant there in the province who had survived the exile is in great trouble and shame. The wall of Jerusalem is broken down, and its gates are destroyed by fire." As soon as I heard these words, I sat down and wept and mourned for days, and I continued fasting and praying before the God of heaven. And I said. O Lord God of heaven, the great and awesome God who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love Him and keep His commandments, let your ear be attentive and your eyes open to hear the prayer of your servant that I now pray before you day and night for the people of Israel, your servants, confessing the sins of the people of Israel which we have sinned against you. Even I and my father's house have sinned. We have acted very corruptly against you, and have not kept the commandments, the statutes, and the rules that you commanded your servant Moses. Remember the word that you commanded your servant Moses, saying, "If you are unfaithful, I will scatter you among the peoples. But if you return to me and keep my commandments and do them, though your outcasts are in the uttermost parts of heaven, from there I will gather them and bring them to the place that I have chosen to make my name dwell there." They are your servants and your people, whom you have redeemed by your great power and by your strong hand. O Lord, let your ear be attentive to the prayer of your servant, and to the prayer of your servants who delight to fear your name, and give success to your servant today, and grant him mercy in the sight of this man. Now I was cupbearer to the king. Praise be to God. Although Nehemiah grew up in Babylon and had a good job in the royal family, he still maintained his love and faithfulness to God. In fact, the situation in Jerusalem did not affect Nehemiah's life, but he was still sincerely concerned about it and eagerly prayed to God for the people of Jerusalem. Dear friends, when we see tragedies and chaos in the news, we may also feel as sad as Nehemiah did. During those moments, I encourage you to pray for those situations, no matter how big or small they are. Trust that our loving God will bless them with grace to transform sorrows into peace and blessings. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, please take care of this land, grant mercy and healing, and send down your peace and grace. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. A chapter a day to brighten your way. See you tomorrow. Jesus loves you, and I love you too.